Now let us focus on the derivation of Heron's formula. Derivation of Heron's formula. In the previous video, you have seen what is Heron's formula and how to apply that. So in this video, we'll be seeing how did we actually get the formula for calculating the area of triangle. So before moving to the derivation, let, let me write the formula for you. For any triangle with sides A, B and C, the area of a triangle, area of this triangle is given as under root of S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C. This is Heron's formula. Now let us move to the derivation part. Consider a triangle. We have a random triangle. Say this side is A, this is B and this side is C. The length of this side is C, the length of this side is A and length of this side is B. Right? This is A, B and C. So we have triangle ABC with the given measurements. Let us draw a height of this triangle that is perpendicular. Right? Let's say the length of this, the total height is H and say it cuts here at a distance of D. This distance is D and this point is O. AO is D. So now we know that this complete length is C. So what will be the length of OB? This will obviously be C minus D. So we have the length of AO, we have the length of OB in terms of D and this is the height of the triangle H. Now consider triangle AOC, triangle AOC. As per Pythagoras theorem, I can write B square is equal to H square plus D square, right? If I'll apply Pythagoras theorem because this is 90 degrees, in triangle AOC, I can write B square is equal to H square plus D square. Similarly, in triangle BOC, in this triangle BOC, I can write A square is equal to H square plus of C minus D whole square. This is equation 1 and this is equation 2. So I have two equations based on Pythagoras theorem in the two triangles, triangle AOC and triangle BOC. Now what I will do? I will subtract both the equations because my aim is to remove this h square and to find the value of d in terms of a, b and c. So let us see what do we get here. So when we will subtract both the equations that is 1 minus of 2 we will get b square minus a square in the LHS which is equal to d square minus of c minus d whole square. h square and h square will get cancelled. So which equals b square minus a square is equal to, now this is in the form of a square minus b square, so we will get this a plus b into a minus b. So this becomes d plus c minus d into d minus of c plus of d, a plus b into a minus b. This plus d minus d cancelled, so this becomes b square minus a square is equals to c times 2d minus of c, right? So this becomes b square minus a square is equal to 2 into d into c minus of c square, which finally gives us c square plus b square minus a square divided by 2c is equal to d. This is the value of d in terms of a, b and c. That is, d is equal to b square plus c square minus a square divided by 2c and let us make this equation number 3. Now consider triangle AOC again. In triangle AOC we have written b square is equal to h square plus d square, right? So from here I can write h square is nothing but equal to b square minus d square, right? By shifting the terms in the right hand side. Now we got this value as the value of d. This value of d I will substitute here. Now let us see what we will get it here. h square is equal to b square minus of b square plus c square minus a square by 2c whole square. Looks complicated. Yeah, let us see what is the final result because our main aim is to derive the Heron's formula. 
So we'll just now write the write down the RHS of this side. So this becomes 2BC whole square minus of B square plus C square minus A square whole square divided by 4C square, right? Now this is in the form of A square minus B square. So let us apply that in this case. So let us see what we will be getting here. This becomes 2BC plus of B square plus C square minus A square into 2BC minus B square minus C square plus A square. A plus B into A minus B whole divided by 4C square. Now see this very carefully. You have b square plus c square plus 2bc. So this is nothing but b plus c whole square minus of a square, right? And check out here. This is a square minus b square minus c square plus 2bc. So I can write this as a square minus of b minus c whole square, right? Because this will become b square plus c square minus 2bc multiplied by minus sign will give me this result finally and whole divided by 4c square. Now this is again in the form of a plus b into a, uh, a square minus b square again a square minus b square so we'll split this as a plus b into a minus b. So what will we getting here? b plus c minus a and b plus c plus of a right. Similarly here we'll be getting a plus b minus c and a minus of b plus of c divided by 4c square. Now as you remember in Heron's formula we had s written there and what was s? s was nothing but our semi-perimeter. So can I write these things in terms of semi-perimeter? Let us write it down. Let us see what we will be getting. I know that s is equal to a plus b plus c by 2 which tells me that 2s is equal to a plus b plus c okay so a plus b plus c this value i can write it as 2s fine now b plus c minus c i want that value here so how will i get that i already have b plus c but instead of plus c i need minus a so what i'll do i'll subtract minus 2a both the sides right so let us see what we have 2 times s minus c is equal to b plus c minus of a right we got it in terms of s so b plus c minus a is nothing but 2 times s minus c similarly a plus b minus c is nothing but let us see what it is now 2s is equal to a plus b plus c now we need minus of c so what i'll do i'll subtract minus 2c on both the sides so we have here 2 times s minus c is equal to a plus b minus of c so this becomes 2 times s minus c. Similarly, this will become 2 times s minus b. So, my final equation will be h square is nothing but equal to 2s into 2 times s minus a into 2 times s minus b into 2 times s minus c whole divided by 4c square. This 2 and this 2 will cancel out this 4. So, finally, I have h square is equal to 4 into s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c divided by c square. This is the value of h square, right? Now, I know that area of the triangle, area of the triangle that we have seen considered initially, this triangle, area of this triangle, I can write it as half into h into c right half into base into height this is my height and this is my base so half into h into c now let us see what we will get what we will be getting if i substitute this value of h in the area so this becomes area equals to half into h into base c so half into c now let us substitute the value of h under root of 4s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c divided by c right because under root of c square will be c c c cancelled root 4 is nothing but 2 so this 2 and this root 4 will cancel out each other so finally i'll be having under root of s into s minus a 
into S minus B into S minus C, which will give me the area of the above triangle. And this is what is our Heron's formula. So this is the derivation behind the Heron's formula. So I hope you understood the derivation. And now you can easily understand the concept behind this.